Now that we know how to create the basic components of our game, let's see how variables can help us customize them. In a previous exercise, we changed the shape of all the obstacles in our game. You'll remember that it was a slow and long process, but if we use a variable, we can make these changes much more easily. The idea is simple. We're going to create a variable called shape and store the shape of our obstacles in it. With this, we only have to edit our code once to change the shape of multiple obstacles. Let's look at an example. The first thing to note is that the value of the variable shape is text. This may seem odd since the value of all our variables so far were numbers. However, this still works as variables can hold values other than numbers. The second thing to note is that the third parameter of our obstacle.create instruction is not text. Since there are no quotation marks around the word shape, the computer understands that this is a variable. So how does this work? Well, the computer starts by creating a variable with the value circle. Like any other variable, it stores this in its memory. When the computer tries to create an obstacle at the position 1011, it'll realize that it needs to check its memory for the shape of the obstacle. The computer will take the value in the variable shape and replace the variable's name with its value. Now the computer knows it needs to create a circular obstacle. This process is repeated for the next obstacle.create instruction. What if we change our mind and want triangles instead of circles? All we need to do is switch out the word circle for triangle. The next time we execute our code, all the obstacles will be triangles. This makes it so much easier to change the shape of multiple obstacles all at once. We're ready to try this ourselves. If you look in the code editor, you'll notice that the variable shape is already there. All you need to do is replace each word circle in the obstacle.create instructions with the variable shape. Remember, don't enclose the word shape with quotation marks. Once that's done, hit run code. Every obstacle should now be a triangle.